Where's the IG? You closed at two dollars. Tim thinks we need to do something big. Ben agrees, and so do I. What can we do? AIG's not even a bank. The Fed can lend to non-banks under unusual and exigent circumstances. We're thinking of taking over 80% of the company. Hank, we can't. This morning, we were lecturing the entire country on moral hazard. AIG has collateral. They have assets. Lehman didn't. We couldn't lend into a hole. It's not the same story. Nobody's gonna care. It's another bailout. With no legislation, the hill's gonna go crazy. The country's gonna go crazy. The plane that we flew in on this morning, at least from AIG. Construction downtown, AIG. Life insurance, 81 million policies with a face value of 1.9 trillion. <laughs> Billions of dollars in teachers' pensions. It's everywhere you want, too big to fail. Here it is. Got a better idea? The suggestion box is wide open. I hate to do this right now, but I'm going to have to have a press call first thing, and I really don't know what I'm going to tell them. Tell them Lehman exacerbated AIG. The simultaneous payouts of CDOs and credit default swaps put catastrophic pressure Go back on further. The global pool of investment capital She needs. has to do this in English. Start with the homeowners. Okay. Okay, here's how you explain it. <clears throat> Wall Street started bundling home loans together, mortgage-backed securities, and selling slices of those bundles to investors. And they were making big money. So they started pushing the lenders, saying, come on, we need more loans. The lenders had already given loans to borrowers with good credit, so they go bottom feeding, they lower their criteria. Before, you needed a credit score of 620 and a down payment of 20%. Now they'll settle for 500, no money down. And the buyer, the regular guy on the street assumes that the experts know what they're doing. He's saying to himself, if the bank's willing to loan me money, I must be able to afford it. So he reaches for the American dream. He buys that house. The banks knew securities based on shitbag mortgages were risky. You'll work on shitbag. So to control their downside, the banks started buying a kind of insurance. If mortgages default, insurance company pays. Default swap. The banks insure their potential losses to move the risk off their books so they can invest more make more money. Well, a lot of companies insured this stuff. One was dumb enough to take on an almost unbelievable amount of risk. AIG. And you'll work on dumb. And when they ask me why they did that? Fees. Hundreds of millions in fees. AIG figured the housing market would just keep going up, but then the unexpected happens. Housing prices go down. Poor bastard who bought his dream house. The teaser rate on his mortgage runs out. His payments go up. He defaults. Mortgage-backed securities tank. AIG has to pay off the swaps. All of them, all over the world, at the same time. AIG can't pay. AIG goes under. Every bank they insure books massive losses on the same day. And then they all go under. It all comes down. The whole financial system? And what do I say? when they asked me why it wasn't regulated. No one wanted to. They were making too much money. You'll work on... we were making too much money.